and here again with another trading video and what I'm sharing with you is the step by step of the rules I follow when I'm going about um, setting up my chart for stock trading so I'm looking for the turning points I'm looking for my supply and demand zones you know so that's how I do it you know so I'm looking for all of these turning points and identifying them because once I've set up my chart you know, there's, there, there's no need for me to do this again you know not for another probably six 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 to twelve months time before i'm looking to do this again you know so and all i'm doing is just finding and identifying the turning points and these turning points the market will notice them again and again and again so i'm just going to pause the video while i finish this off so right traders so what i've done now I've put on my supply and demand zones it's on for a very long period you know so I've highlighted all the turning points on the market. So once I've done all the turning points, um, you know, so where the market, it moves all the way up to here, then pull back and so on. That's what I'm doing. That's all I'm identifying here. Okay. Now, once I've identified all the turning points, then all the other indicators are off my chart. So then I'm going to take off the other indicators now because I don't need them anymore. So I take them off. Do not need it anymore, okay? Then I go on to my, okay? Then I go on to my daily, okay? And that's where I'm at now. I just made this a little bit bigger, okay? Now I've also I also trade um, the MACD divergence as well, but now here now we have got the trigger there. Yeah, can you see? Um, this is what I'm looking at now, right? So I'm looking at when the market comes to this zone, right? I get my great candle, then my entry is above there. and look at the target. I'm looking to buy at the supply and demand zones. Let the market break below. I'm not going to be buying there. I want to see the market break and then pull back. And then this is the time I'm looking to buy at this zone. This is the time when I'm looking to sell at this zone. Looking to sell at that zone. And this is typical how I go about um, trading, um, you know, stop the stock market you know of course you look at the my market dynamics as well bit of news on the different you know stocks um you know if there's any big information coming out any trading updates on the stock itself but as you know with trading there's no guarantee um and especially stocks as well stocks tend to operate with interest rate and bond yields as well but you know, I, I don't bother with the technical stuff. All I do, I basically just, you know, look to see if they are at supply and demand zones. If they are price, prices at supply and demand zone and at the extreme zone using this indicator here, right? These supply and demand zones are already on the chart. So that's all I'm using. And just check to see if the stock will have any trading updates coming out or any news event coming up on that particular stock market. Um, and if that's the case and I get the trade, then I'm going to take it. Now, this is just how I trade stocks in a nutshell. God bless. Peace out. Happy trading.